Hey guys, it's Natalie from Everything Else, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make these cute spinner cards. This video was originally inspired by Jennifer McGuire's video, which I will link below, but in this video I'll show you guys how to simplify that technique and how to duplicate it in many different examples. Okay, let me show you how this card works. So, it is a Z folding card, and there's an image on, attached to a string, which is on both sides. So when you spin it, the image spins. So now, this is how it works if you put it in a card. You have to spin it, and when they get it in the mail and open it, the image will twirl, twirl around. This is a great card, and it is so easy to duplicate and make different examples of. Here's my first one. I made a pickle one. Then I did it with a tiny image, but that does not work as well because it will start spinning when it's in the envelope. So I suggest using a bigger image. So, now let's get started. Now I'll show you how to cut it. I'm taking my We Are Memory Keepers trim and scoreboard, and I'm taking a piece of cardstock, which is 11 inches long, which I got at my local grocery store, and I'm cutting it in half, long ways, which is 5 and a half inches on both sides. So, once you do that, you have two pieces of card paper. Now you only need one for this project, so you can save another for another card you can make. Now you can, f now, this is when it's best to make your background, so, because of the folds. I already made my background, and I just took watercolor and put some salt on it. So, I made mine double-sided because I think it looks better, but you can do whatever you want. Now you're going to do a rough fold in half so that you can get an idea to, from where to score. That should be four and a half, no, four and one-fourth inches. So now you're going to score right there. Next you're going to flip it over from where it folded and fold it some more. Okay, now we are going to mark on the other side two and one-eighth inch mark. Now is the time that if you want to do a stamp background like I did with the star and the little dog, you can. I'm going to take a template or a similarly sized object and trace a half circle around it and cut out on the folded part. This should make a nice little circle so when you open it, it goes from half circle to circle. Now we're going to make the inner circle, which is where your, stamped, um, your stamp phrase will be. So trace a similarly sized object or use your use your cutout from earlier and you're going to cut that out. Next erase the pencil lines and stamp whatever saying you want. I try to fi I tried to figure out how I could place my image or my phrase so that the image would cover it up most of the way so that when you opened it it would be a little surprise. Now after taping that down, I'm going to clean my stamps very quickly and put it back on their acetate. So now I'm going to stamp my dog. You need to stamp at least two because the image is double, needs to be double sided to go in the string. But I like to stamp an extra in case I mess up the stamping or do something wrong. Now I'm going to fill in any areas that did not get ink with my Papermate Flare Pen and color them in with my watercolors from Crayola. While they're drying, I'm going to add a little stamp on the edge which will be visible from the outside of the card. I am washi taping down the cutout that we used so I can give it a little circular and it can follow that white piece. Now you're going to do this on the flip side, so I'm doing it on the left which will show up on the right on the card. So I'm inking that up and I'm stamping that down. After cleaning that and my stamp, I'm going to start to assemble and cut out the dogs. Okay, so I finished out cutting the dogs and now I'm going to glue them together and glue the string in between them. Next, cut out all the excess that's hanging off of them 
and then fill it in with a black marker and I'm using my paper mint flare to do this. Next you're going to want to washi tape it down in the middle and then use some clear tape to tape it into the fold. Next you're going to fold that back over so the string is hidden except for the circle and spin it around. Then when you open it the card the image twirls around in the card. It's so cute and such a fun way to make somebody's day better. You can also put an optional little piece of paper in the fold which isn't visible if you want some writing room or you could write there without a box or on the back. So this can be done so many times and it's so much fun and there, I have so many examples. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And please follow me on my Instagram, blog.else, and check out my website, which is linked below. Bye!